Hello, cherished viewer. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the author and finisher of our faith. In him we have life. In him we move and live and have our being. We are grateful to him for life. We're grateful to him for his protection and sustenance. In everything he in everything in all the things he does for us. Welcome to Hope Sabbath School um, as we bring to you this week's lesson review. I believe that you had a fruitful week by the grace of God and in spite of the ups and downs, in spite of all that happened, always believe, always trust in the providence of God because he has promised not to leave you, nor forsake you. This week, we are studying lesson eight. Lesson eight has a very simple, short, and yet profound title or caption, which is, Choose Life. Choose Life. Last week was lesson seven. It talked about law and grace. Law and grace. The lesson made the point that law and grace are inseparable. They are two sides of the same coin. You cannot separate them. And both reveal the nature of God. The justice of God is revealed through his law and his righteousness. And then the grace and the mercy of God is um, was also shown. Both are found in the scriptures and so we cannot separate the two. This week I am glad to be joined by um, Collegono District. We are reviewing the lesson with Collegono District and I'm glad to be joined by Pastor John Tete who is the church pastor for Newman Proby, Newman Proby and, and Living Stream and Living Stream as the churches, the only pastor with two churches. <laughs> <laughs> pastor, you're welcome. Thank you. I hope you're good. How's the family? The family's doing fine. Thank you. We thank God. We thank God. And then also, we have our beautiful sister, Mrs. Akuamwa Inti. Mrs. Akuamwa Inti. She is from Prince of Peace SDA Church, which is one of the churches in Collegono District. Madam Anita. Hello. You are welcome. Thank you very much. How is the family? They are doing great. All right. We thank God. And good to see you. Good to see you too. We thank God. So, Collegono District is under the leadership of Pastor George Odro. Pastor George Odro. So, Pastor, wherever you are, we greet you. Yeah. We extend our greetings to you. God bless you for your great work. Before we commence our discussion, shall we have a word of prayer with Anita? Shall we pray? Divine Father, we thank you for this hour. We pray committing our discussion into your hands. We ask that may you pour out your spirit upon us, that it will lead us in this study that the end of it all, it shall be a blessing unto us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 We will take the memory text for the lesson from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 19. Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 19. Anita, can you take it for us? Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. Amen. 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 The Bible can have some hard sayings, right? Yeah. Adanita. Yes. As you read this passage, what are some of the thoughts that came through your mind? Okay. I would say that um, 
we are we are children of God, right? Yes. Yes, we are Christians. And every day in and day out, God is admonishing us to accept his word, to follow his guidance and his leadings. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if we say God is our creator, God is the one who mm -hmm. gives us life, mm -hmm. we should be able to obey his words mm -hmm. and follow him. Because without doing that, we will not be able to have the life that has, prom has been promised us. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, as children of God, we are dependent on our Father. Yes for life yeah. all right okay and so as long as we want to live we must obey what he has for us pastor yeah. yes when you look at the the text yes he said i call heaven and death mm -hmm. you know uh, whenever some objects of the earth like uh, earth heaven that take, you want something to be a witness. They mean that something like uh, swearing. Okay, whenever something you mention, you don't say I swear to God or something. No, but he's saying that he said I call heaven and earth to be a witness mm. for what I'm going to tell you today. That to be a witness that it means I it's have not a joke. No, 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 no. Mm. I have set before you life and death. Mm blessing and cursing so you should choose what the life so now it means that if you decide to choose the cursing mm -hmm. or the the death then it is your your problem if you have a problem don't blame anybody blame yourself because now i've called upon the heaven and the earth as a witness mm. so this statement is very very serious that in this life whatever we are going to choose and you try to choose something which will lead you to death or a case, then it is your problem. So what you are saying to the choose life in the scripture, saying that we should rather choose what? Life, mm. so that we can live. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the Bible tells us that we are like a spectacle. Mm -hmm. To the world, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That the world reads. Mm -hmm. In fact, when the Bible to have the God saying that I call heaven and earth mm -hmm. as witnesses. Mm -hmm. In other words, um, if I understand this, God is saying that He's subjecting Himself to the entire cosmos. Yeah and all his inhabitants. Yeah. All right. Mm. And don't let's forget, that includes the angels. Yes. As well. All, all the beings as witnesses. Yeah. Well, maybe for trees and animals, mm -hmm. because they are not intelligent beings, yeah. Yeah. we cannot they include rational. them. Yes. They are not rational. Yeah. But for all the intelligent beings mm -hmm. who will ever live on this earth, mm -hmm. they are witnesses. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's at the end of the day, the choices that you will make, mm -hmm. it will become plain to everybody. Yeah. And so whatever consequences that you receive, mm -hmm. it will be the one you deserve. Mm -hmm. Great. The one you are. You yeah. So, <laughs> Pastor, in other words, we're saying that we, are, we worship a God who so he who's is a, who is accountable yeah. or who wants to be accountable to, to yeah. his own creation. creation yeah. Yeah. His own creation. Sometimes I think about it deeply and when I maybe I, I begin to doubt whether I matter to God or God is concerned about mm -hmm. me and my life. You know, I, I tell myself that look, God cannot deal unjustly with me because he wants to be accountable to people mm -hmm. do you mean and so if, if, if he treats me unfairly he is concerned about what the others who are witnessing my life mm -hmm. will say about him yeah. 
All right? Yeah. Uh, I, I, so he, won't, he will <laughs> never treat you unfairly. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, whatever happens in my life, in your life, mm -hmm. is the best that God can give you. Yeah. Based on his grace and on your choices Choice. mm -hmm. as well. Correct. Because the two go together. Mm -hmm. The opening lesson, I mean, the opening words of the lesson gives us a very interesting story. Yes. <laughs> I don't know who is, who, who is ready to summarize this for us. Okay. Any time, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about this. Okay. Uh, it's talking about a lady, mm -hmm. uh, Sandy, that oh. the, the name. Yes. And she had tumor of the brain. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, his association is thinking about life. He's thinking about this earthly life. Mm. He's not thinking eternal life mm. so they, he battled she battled with the um, the tumor mm -hmm. they did a lot of medicine but it's not getting well so by virtue maybe he's got money small so what he did was that he wants his his brain his head to be preserved mm -hmm. the brain mm -hmm. to be preserved so in future in life when technology um, becomes Advanced. apparent yes. then the neurons the brain cells can be used so that they can tap information that it can be useful for the present world. That is his, her mind. Mm. So, mean that, so if you tap some information from the brain, and you use it now, she's still living. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the head or the brain is being used. That is eternal for him. Yes. Mm. Okay. So, but we are not, uh, with the, the choice uh, uh, of uh, Sandy is not really, I won't say it's, it's not good. Mm. Mm. But we should be thinking about a life that even after this one, we can live forever. Mm. I, want to, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. No one wants to die. Yes, even if there's something, we all run away. Mm -hmm. But even if you don't want to die in this life, and you've been promised that there's life after this one, everyone should yearn to have that one. So to choose life, I would choose to die a, a life after death, mm -hmm. not uh, my head, you know, a dead head in the case, mm -hmm. <laughs> living forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, according to the story, the young woman, Sandy, mm -hmm. is so desirous mm -hmm. to live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the option mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or the approach, mm -hmm. her methodology is wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where she chooses to place her hope mm -hmm. is actually futile. It, it, it is, it's hopeless because for millions of years to come, what she is wishing for will never happen. Yeah. It will never happen because once the mm -hmm. brain ceases to work, mm -hmm. the cells are dead, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter uh, where you, yeah. you preserve you it, preserve it. <laughs> you, know, you cannot live again mm -hmm. whether you like it or not but mm -hmm. for us yeah. for us as pastor said mm -hmm. we do not hope only in this life mm -hmm. but in the life to come Paul says if only in this life we have hope then we yeah. have of all men the most miserable miserable, yes. miserable. Um, so the the memory text is saying that God said, I've said before you what? Life and death, death. blessing and curse. Person. Therefore, choose, choose life. life. Okay. Um, the tree of life. The tree of life. Anita. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's hear your voice. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Sunday's lesson telling us? Yes. The tree of life. Um, we, we are told of the story of how God placed Adam and Eve in the mm -hmm. garden. Mm -hmm. You know, God created Adam and Eve or mankind not to die. He created them to live forever. So in order for them to live forever, he gave them that tree of life so that it will sustain their life. Yes. But you, we all know what happened. Mm. Adam and Eve did not choose to exist or to be created by God. Mm -hmm. They had no choice in that. in that. In the same way, we as human beings too, we have no choice of our existence. Mm -hmm. Or even to choose where we'll be born or who we'll be born to. We existed by God's own doing. Mm. And therefore, 
though we were created and we have we are existing now mm. <clears throat> god has given us a gift which is the gift of free will or of choice adam and eve how did it end them instead of being obedient to god's command they rather chose to obey the devil which made them to be cut off from that tree of life so in in a sense is that tree, is that tree of life that sustains the life that god has given us yeah. okay thank you very much so we 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 we, we realize that just as the memory text your comments um presented there are how many options two only two life versus death blessing versus cursing in the same way in the garden of eden the tree of life versus the tree of death mm -hmm. is that not so pastor it is all right so <laughs> add your comments okay you know on the um, sunday's lesson uh, when god created um the garden of eden he said he planted this garden at the eastern side where he planted all trees including these two the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good, good and evil, evil. which okay. is the tree of death, death. Okay. anyway all these trees are there but if you read script, uh, critically the scriptures he's saying that all the trees god created they are pleasing to the eye and they are they look good for food mm. all of them mm. It's not only the tree of um, the tree death, of knowledge of no, good. It's yeah. not only that one. Mm. All of them. Okay, you can get this account from scriptures by time. So that tree of life is also there. So it go, God told uh, Adam and Eve they should eat of all except that uh, tree mm -hmm. of death. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it means that while they were there, they were eating the tree of life. Including oh, okay. everything. They were supposed to eat the tree, tree of, of life. life. So they are eating that one. Mm. They are eating, they are eating everything. Mm. The only tree which God said they should not touch is that tree of death. Yeah. See, so once you are eating that tree, you should be what? You should, you should be be living, living forever. forever. So God's plan for mankind is to live forever. No death. Mm. So that tree of life is there. It started from Genesis and also ended in Revelation. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's read the uh, Revelation, um, the Revelation version. Two, two seven. Yes, two seven. Um, mm -hmm. That is part of the the, the letters mm -hmm. to the seven churches, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. To the angel of the assembly in Ephesus, write. Yes. He who holds the seven stars in his right hand, mm -hmm. he who walks among the seven golden what? Okay, so verse 7 verse says, says, He who has an ear, yeah. let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Mm -hmm. To him who overcomes, I will give to eat of the tree of life, mm -hmm. which is in the paradise of, of my God. Yeah. Yes. Oh, so mm -hmm. there will still be the tree of life in heaven. Yes, even he mentioned in the, in the New Jerusalem. In the New Jerusalem. It will be there okay. too. 22 verse 2 mm -hmm. and 14. Mm -hmm. And the verse 2 says, In the middle of the streets and on either side of the river was a tree of life. Mm -hmm. And then the verse 14 also says, Blessed are those who do his commandments, mm -hmm. that they may have the right to the tree of life. Mm -hmm. And so they it, enter into yes. and they and may enter in into, by the gates yes. into the city. Wow. <laughs> so before you can also even get access to the tree of life, mm -hmm. you must keep God's God commandments. Yeah. You must keep God's commandments. Yes. As you have um, been saying all this while, mm -hmm. not in order to be saved. No. Mm -hmm. But because he has saved you, mm -hmm. delivered you, redeemed you, mm -hmm. and based on that, there is now a covenant relationship between the two of you. Correct. He who has shown you love, you want to love him, right? Mm. And he says, if you love me, keep my commandments. This is simple start. 
It's like husband and wife who says to each other, they love each other. How can you love each other if what Madam um, Anita tells Mr. Ntie, mm -hmm. Mr. Ntie says, I will not do, yeah. whether you like, you like it or not, I will not do. <laughs> and then you come back and say, um, Anita, you know how much I love you. <laughs> I love you, pa, but I will not do what you say. <laughs> she, I think no man will do that. Yeah. No man. No man will do that. Likewise, no wife mm -hmm. or woman will do that to the husband, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So that is that. The tree of life, the tree of life. Um, let's go to no middle ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no middle ground. Pastor. Yeah, yes. Um, from the memory text, we can see that he's saying that uh, blessing or cursing, yes. uh, life and death. So you see, we have the two extremes. Mm. So also, when you study the scripture critically, you can see that the, we don't have anybody who can say that I decide to stand in the middle. You either choose one, mm. hot or cold, dry or wet, summer or winter, <laughs> everything, the streams. So I God have is- an atheist, Not to cut you, I have an atheist <laughs> friend, an, an atheist friend who tells me, when I ask him, do you believe God exists, he says, He's not so much concerned about it. He doesn't care. Mm -hmm. If he exists, fine. If he doesn't exist, fine. <laughs> so he's in the middle. Where does this person mm -hmm. belong mm -hmm. to? In the middle. Mm. And, uh, but he says there's then, no middle ground. And no, 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 I mean, if somebody is in the middle, then the person is a chaff. You have no hope. You have no hope. Mm. Yes. Either you are hot or cold. Mm. But I can't see. You see, the way I've been talking that uh, God said if you are. Uh, lukewarm, he will spew you out. Yes, you are disgusting. Cannot be, be you are useless. Something like that. So, in the same way, if you you want to live, or you want to receive God blessing, or you want to die, and receive curses, then the Bible uh, explain give us a lot of scriptures mm. to support it. I'll just read a few. Yeah. We know John chapter three verse sixteen. Yes, and for God so loved the world mm -hmm. that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. perish. So if you don't believe him, you perish. Mm -hmm. But if you believe in him, you have everlasting, everlasting life. life. So you see the harvest stream. Yeah. Believe in him and have life, or don't believe in him and perish. Yes. So no um, middle, yeah, middle ground. Yes. Then um, we Romans have... 23. For Romans 6.23. For the which of sin death. is death. But the gift... God is eternal is life. Eternal life. So it's... We don't have a middle ground. Mm. So if we said um, we want to live forever, we don't have a middle ground. And the, the, the title of our lessons is saying that choose life. Choose mm. life. So if you want to live forever, and you want to choose that life, you must remember that um, you must accept Christ. You, are, you know that the, sin, uh, the wages of sin is death, mm. and you want to live, so you must follow Christ. Mm. And we have a lot of scriptures who can tell you that follow Christ, mm. and you are going to live forever. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank mm -hmm. you, Chaplain mm -hmm. Anita. Yes, mm -hmm. I want to come with you okay. to you with a question. Mm -hmm. If choosing life, mm -hmm. choosing life. It appears, it looks simple, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it that simple? Mm -hmm. And why? Why is, um, why are we in the situation that we are, that in. We are in? If you read Matthew 7, 24 to 27, mm -hmm. Jesus talks about the two ways, is that yeah. so? Yeah. The broad way <laughs> the narrow, and the, the narrow, narrow way. way. And he said, Many are those who are in the broad way, and it leads to what? Destruction. Those who are in the narrow way are few, yeah. mm -hmm. and it's the one that leads to death. Mm -hmm. My question is, mm -hmm. if choosing life is so simple mm -hmm. and easy, yeah. why? Can't we choose life? Why can't <laughs> the entire humanity <laughs> well, choose life? Choose life? Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, 
it, as you said, it should be simple mm -hmm. because uh, everyone wants to live forever. We yes. don't want to die. Yes. So if you have been given that option to choose life, why don't or why can't we choose life? Mm -hmm. We are told from the beginning that there's a great controversy going on mm. Tell of me which it. Satan it's involved. Okay. He's in a, in a battle with Christ. He, from the beginning, wanted to be in God's place, to demand worship. And since he didn't get that, he has been thrown down to this earth. And human beings, we, 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 we are the, those suffering mm. from that, uh, his anger, his yeah. fierce anger, yeah. his wrath against God. So ultimately, Though God wants us to live, mm -hmm. but the devil too, his doom is dead. He's, he's doomed for distraction. Yes. He doesn't want to go alone. So he wants people to go with him. So in the same vein that God is giving us or is uh, 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 admonishing us to choose life, the devil too is on the other side pulling people to distraction. Mm -hmm. So if we do not take care, though we have been given that option to choose life and it's simple we are surrounded by so many pressures of mm. uh, uh, negativity mm. false uh, uh, faith and doctrines so if you don't take care you will follow that mm. and then the life that god is admonishing us to choose we will lose it we will mm. not be able to choose it so there's a, a great controversy there is a great controversy yeah. indeed mm -hmm. in john chapter 10 verse 10 jesus said the thief does not come yeah. except to steal mm -hmm. and, and to, to kill, kill and, and to, to destroy. destroy. Yeah. I have come that they might that they may have life yes. and that they may have it more what? Abundantly. 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 There's a question down there. In the context of eternal life or eternal death, mm -hmm. why is the biblical truth that hell is not burning and torturing people forever? Mm -hmm. Such a comforting truth. What would it say about the character of God where what would it say about the character of God where eternal conscious torment truly the fate of the lost? Pastor, <laughs> yes. That's quite technical. Eh? Yes. <laughs> Address it you briefly know, for us. Yes. You know, um, that idea, some scriptures uh, try to bring the idea that man if for death you'll be tormenting forever in fire god is not so wicked mm -hmm. that you see his images mm -hmm. burning in fire forever that is not so what you mean is that you are going to be annihilated that is you are going to be destroyed wiped, wiped off cut off cut off forever. like you take a piece of paper put it in fire it will burn and it would uh, it become chaff you yes. don't even see it. Yes. that is the meaning yes uh, because god will not be happy seeing somebody moaning groaning all the, all mm -hmm. this yes mm -hmm. that is not it mm -hmm. but what i want to add is that you see god gave us uh, to choose life mm. in that when you look at the garden of eden mm -hmm. eve uh, so knew that eating of the tree of life mm -hmm. you have life mm. but she decided mm. because the devil told her something which he has not heard before mm. you are going to be wise yeah. god that one this devil added it yeah. you are going to be wise mm. yeah. so the first one pleasing to the eye good for food and that is something so we want to be wise yeah. so that's why he ended mm -hmm. so when you look in this life people are many people are on the broadway mm. because of the no um no law i mean you are on your own mm. but we need to be accountable to the creator mm. if not that god will create us first before creating everything counterfeit freedom yes yeah. counterfeit. Yeah. yes they want it they want to do everything now that is not liberty of no, freedom no, 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 at all no, no. because no. you 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 will come under the bondage of sin. yes and which is not liberty yeah. no. which is not freedom yes so yeah. that's why we see a lot of people they want to have their freedom. If you, you can be have children, but those who are always with you, you can see that uh, they'll be obedient to you. Mm -hmm. But those who want to go and live their own life, they think they are they on their own. Rebel. They always rebel. And those who are close to you, that you 
I mean, those who are close to you and listen to, to what you, you have them for them. Yeah. You see that you'll be molding them. Yes. And shaping their lives for the future. Yes. But those who want to be on their own as quickly as possible, their lives will be nothing to write home about. It will be short. It will be short. Yes. Yeah. They will be inviting troubles upon themselves. Right? So that's what the previous lesson we talked about. Uh, law and grace. Yeah, the law and grace. One of the, the day's lesson was for your good. Yes. For your good. Um, all right. Uh, God, the, the commandment of God is for our good. Yes. Okay. Um, we, will, we will continue. Life, life, the Tuesday's lesson says, mm -hmm. life and good, death and evil. Mm -hmm. Life and good, death and evil. Um, Madam Anita. Hello. Yes. Help us mm -hmm. with it. What is it telling us? Yeah. Um, we are told in Deuteronomy chapter 30, as we read earlier, mm -hmm. that God has placed before us through Moses what he commanded the children of Israel, that he has placed be before them life and death, blessings and curses, so that he is admonishing them to choose life. But as we saw in the case of Israel, what was their end? Most often they chose the negative way. Mm. They did not follow the statutes of God. Yeah. They ended up in what? Exile. They mm. ended up in captivity. Mm. But then in the same way, God has promised them, or God did promise them, that if they repent and come back to him, he will take them back yes. and then prosper them. So therefore, it's, it, there, there are still two options, right? Mm -hmm. That we have to choose life mm. so that it will be well with us. That if we choose death or we go contrary to what God is asking us to choose, it will end us in uh, uh, trouble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It will not end, end us well. Yeah. There's no neutral place, as we said earlier. Mm. And that's what we have seen throughout the Bible. It's, it's most often uh, people say it's difficult, as we said earlier, that we, are, we can follow Christ and follow it wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. we, we, have to, we have to do uh, some parts and then God will also add his parts. But there's, we have seen that it doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. We can also have, not have the two. We have to make a conscious effort to what? To choose life and the good that God has what promised us. I think Pastor will also okay. yes. add uh, What I want to add Thank is that. You, yeah. Thank that. you, Anita, for that. Life, goodness go with life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you do I good see. or you try to um, satisfy the conditions God has set for you, it goes with life. If you try to do evil, mm. contrary to what God says, it will lead to death. And this life also, in either sense, if you are living a good life, God will bless you. Mm. If you are living a bad life, you receive curses. It's common in everywhere, even the devil himself. If you don't satisfy his condition, he will also attack you and destroy you. He will kill you. He will kill don't you. forget he came to steal, to <laughs> kill, and to destroy. And to destroy. Yes. So um, for us to receive blessings, uh, um, Blessing, I mentioned blessings, but I, I was going to say blessings come from God. Yes. Mm. But whatever is coming from the devil, it's not blessing. Mm -hmm. It's an advance payment, which mm -hmm. he's going to collect back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You see, sometimes you go to him, you say that, oh, I need this and I need that. Mm. He will supply the thing to he you. He will give it to you. And the time, when the time um, is due. due, he will collect it with, uh, how do you call it? An interest, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. But when yeah, God right. gave you something, mm. He's giving it to you freely. That's mm. why the Bible says the wages of mm. sin is death, death. but the, the gift exactly. of God is eternal mm. life. The use of wages there implies <laughs> payment, payment with interest. Like you work for somebody mm. and then He, he pays, pays you, yes. So when you align yourself with the devil, mm -hmm. the only reward or payment he can give to you is death. Mm -hmm. He has no other reward again. Yes. He has no other reward. Hmm. Right? Yeah. In, 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 temporarily or Tem it's, it's also know, temporary. in a moment, yeah. in a yeah. moment he may 
He may present you with a lot of goodies, yeah. but ultimately, as we said, advance payment. Sometimes they, you, uh, when you see the goodies, it becomes so attractive. Yeah. They are bait. Yes. It's like bait. Yes. Right? Mm. Bait. Like if you want to catch a fish, mm. Mm. Yeah, you use bait. Mm -hmm. you, you put the, some mm -hmm. food or mm. meat on the hook. Yeah. Yes. That is what attracts the fish mm. to swallow the hook. Yes. Um, I had a friend who always said that he has seen about three things that the devil uses. Mm -hmm. Wealth. Wealth. Of course, uh, because those who we are Christians, we are yearning for that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, and, and actually, for it is, it is nice. It's, it's, yeah. it's good. It's good. Everyone then, wants yeah. to have yeah. money. Yeah. He's a man, so he said, and women. Okay. He uses the women also. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the last one is power. And power. If you give man power, mm. then you see where power lies. Yes. So you see that um, all those things, the devil will give them to you. Mm -hmm. So he said, so when they give them to you, you think you are okay. Exactly. And then there, rather, it will lead you to death. Exactly. Mm -hmm. As for the woman, this is simple. As mm -hmm. for this is only one. Among mm -hmm. the three you mentioned, yes. this is only one. Yes. The money. The, the material. <laughs> material. Hey, give but woman power, you see. Women, eh? Mm -hmm. They also corrupt power. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. If we read Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After God calling the heaven and earth to serve as witness, mm -hmm. he said, to love Yahweh your God, yeah. mm. to obey his voice, mm. and to cling to him, mm -hmm. for he is your life, yes. mm -hmm. and the length of your, your days, days, that you may dwell in the land which Yahweh swore mm -hmm. to your fathers, yeah. where our interest is, is to love your God, mm -hmm. Yahweh your God, mm -hmm. obey his voice, mm -hmm. you cling to him. Mm -hmm. Why? He is yes. your life yes. and the length of your days. Yes. Because I hope that is true. Very, very true. Yes. All right. Let's go to not too hard for you. <laughs> not too hard for you. Wednesday. Mm. Pastor. Okay. Not too hard for you. Mm -hmm. um, from the scripture read, um, you can see that he's saying that that you may love your Lord your God, that you may obey his voice. Mm -hmm. Okay, and God's voice is already with us. Mm. Even if I bring the matter home, uh, we've been hearing about salvation, we've been hearing about Christ, we are hearing about second coming, we are hearing about death, and all those things. Mm. Things that we need to do. I think everybody has heard something we call Ten Commandments before. Even most religions know something that the Christians even has mentioned something we call Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. And we have these moral laws also everywhere. Mm -hmm. See? So if all these things are here and we know the consequences of disobeying and then the blessings that go with obeying them, mm -hmm. it's not too difficult, it's not too hard for us to say that we don't know. And if we say we we'll go to the scripture, um, I understand something, but mm -hmm. uh, is it Deuteronomy 30? 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, by where he said that uh, you cannot go to the heavens to look for it or the sea. Uh, okay. Yes, yeah, that is 30, 30, 11. 30, 30 11, 11 to 14. 11. Uh -huh. He said, For this command which I command you today is not too mysterious for you, mm -hmm. nor is far off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is not in heaven that you should say, who ascend into heaven for us and bring it to us, that we may hear it and do it. <laughs> no, it is beyond the sea that you should say, who will go over the sea for us and bring it to us, that we may hear it and do it. But the word is very near you, in your mouth and in your heart, that you may do it. See, I've said before you today, life, good, death, and evil. Mm. So. <laughs> Whatever God expects from us, it is blowing in our ears everywhere. It's rather, I mean, it's in our mouth. Hmm. So it's not too hard. What is left is that we must give our hearts. That's we say that obey, give our hearts and obey. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Uh, very interesting. <laughs> interesting. I think <laughs> that all boils down to the power of choice. Power of choice. Yes. Power of choice. Because. <laughs> We, we, we can't deny the fact that we, we have not no, heard. No, no, no. And even if we have not heard 
the gospel, you, within your heart, you know what is right and what is good. Mm -hmm. Because God uh, in the scriptures has told us that there will be people who will be saved who have not even heard the gospel, yes. but they are truly worshiping the God. The law of nature and conscience that, yes. that is it. place in yeah. everyone. That yeah. is it. No but one has an excuse. It's mm -hmm. very true. But we have made the choice of not to listen, mm -hmm. not to obey. Most people have done that. And we all know its consequences, which is death. Yeah, but you said something about those who said they, they are conscious, they know that whatever they are doing is right, without attaching themselves to any religion. What is their fit? This one, I'm just playing that. I <laughs> understand, I yeah. understand your, your question. Yes, somebody will say that whole question. Yes. It's not absolute. Yes. Mm -hmm. Natural, the law of nature mm -hmm. is not absolute. Mm -hmm. Yes. It works in limited circumstances. Yeah. That is when the person have no opportunity, yeah. okay, yeah. of knowing more, more. Yeah. then the little you know mm -hmm. may be yeah. sufficient. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But when the opportunity comes, mm -hmm. the grace of God which has appeared unto all men, mm -hmm. if you have the opportunity, mm -hmm. then you cannot say that I am shutting the door. Mm -hmm. Correct. Because mm -hmm. that will also amount to mm -hmm. um, disobeying, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Disobeying. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 point, the point is that there's no, middle. there's no middle ground. Mm -hmm. And no one will have an excuse to say that. As for me, mm -hmm. I didn't come to the knowledge of the truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No one. Because you will know something that you have to put into practice. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. A question of worship. Yeah. A question, that is, um, Anita, yes. your turn. <laughs> A question of worship. The, the last yeah. one as we yeah. wrap it up. Okay, we are told in the study that central to the covenant relationship yes. between the uh, God and the children of Israel is worship. Mm. And we know since the beginning of time that that has been the, all what the battle is about, about worship. Mm. Even on the wilderness, when the devil went to tempt Jesus, mm -hmm. he wanted Jesus to what? To worship him. Yeah. Yes. And God, when the children of Israel went in to exile, he commanded Pharaoh or to let his people go, that yes. they will worship him. Go and worship him. That is it. So all through scripture, the central to the relationship what God wants to have with us mm. is for us to totally worship, to totally surrender wholeheartedly. Therefore, if God has shown us much love, we were undeserving. Mm. We did not do anything to deserve what God has given us. We have to be careful not to choose uh, uh, otherwise. Mm. And he has given us, a, a, we have been given scriptures, Deuteronomy 4 verse 19, all pointing to the fact that we should take heed mm -hmm. lest we fall away. There are so many things that is going on around us. So many doctrines, so many beliefs. Mm. We who says we have come to know the truth have to be careful not to lose it. Because as it happened in the time of the Israel, children of Israel, God made them special. Mm -hmm. That they, all the nations around them will know that they are worshiping the true God. That apart from him, there is no other. Yes. But then they were found rather falling away. What were they? surrounding nations who are pagan worshippers, what would they do? What would they say? Mm. If you who know the light, mm. who, are, who have the light, you are following them. All right. Okay, Pastor, mm. why yes. were the children of Israel, they were always falling into temptation, all right? Temptation to worship other gods. Why so? And what lesson does it have for us? Modern day Christians, Seventh day Adventists. Mm. Mm. Okay, we are talking about question of worship here. Yes. The Israelites, they knew God, they worship God, mm. but they also depend on themselves somehow. So God sent them to bondage, to suffer, to learn. So that even he, God said that, so that when you go, you remember and then you worship me mm. because I'm going to give you all this. 
But still, in their minds, they still learn some cultures of idolism in some places. So whatever they fall short, and they cannot go to God, then they tend to those idols. Mm -hmm. In the time you do something and you feel that your God, Yahweh, you are worshiping, has neglected you, then you feel like looking elsewhere. Look mm -hmm. at the example of Saul, King Saul. Mm -hmm. See, when he saw that God has neglected him, he chose to go to the witch of Endor. Mankind seek for God. Mankind, anybody want to worship something? Yeah, yeah, yes, we, we, yes. Yeah. desire to worship, worship something, something is there. Yeah. So when you see that anytime you are being drifted, and you know the true God, mm -hmm. and you are being drifted to go and look for other gods, then it means that your relationship with God is broken. Mm. If I, uh, a seven-day Adventist, and I go to church, I worship my God, and I go into a, a, a problem, and I don't see the, the way to pray or seek counsel with my church for me to come out of my problem, but rather think of seeking um, help. A help from an idol worshiper or a chanter or somebody mm -hmm. who is doing something, then I don't know what I'm doing. Or going to a place that you did not know their God. Yeah. Yes. You see, it's true, very yes. true. Yeah. You see, you were, <laughs> when the Bible talks about strange God, mm -hmm. do not worship a strange mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. In other words, don't seek help. Don't go to anywhere that you don't know the source of mm -hmm. their God. Their God. It's not a matter of what the person tells you. Mm -hmm. No. Do you really, have you had a relationship with their God mm -hmm. that you are seeking help from? Mm -hmm. Because you know your God. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. That is it. And he cautioned us in um, Deuteronomy 32, 39. He mm -hmm. said, now see that I, even I, am he, and there is no God beside me. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, Pastor, thank you. You're welcome. We, we, we are wrapping the lesson. The question down there says, how can we make sure that even subtly, mm -hmm. we are not slowly leaving our allegiance to Jesus for some other God, right? For some mm -hmm. other God. Yeah. Worship is important. Mm -hmm. Look at how senseless and upset it will be it was sound in the ears of Pharaoh mm -hmm. for Moses to tell him that let a group of people who are working for you, you understand, yeah. leave to go and worship their God. <laughs> Look at how upset it mm -hmm. will be. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's the same way we have, we are, people are facing it right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you are under somebody, supposing you're working under somebody, mm -hmm. and the rules of the work, the, the, I mean, the work is not permitting you to worship God according to how he expects you. Mm -hmm. And you tell the person, um, please, I'm not able to worship God the way. Look, look at, <laughs> will you allow me? Will, I mean, I'm so upset. Yeah. yeah. Do you think the yeah. person will understand you? No. Never. But, Will you wait and expect that the person will understand you before you do the right thing? No. <laughs> if the children of Israel had done that, they wouldn't have ever lived, yeah. Yeah. left, left Egypt. Egypt. Yes. If they were seeking, <laughs> waiting to seek the consent of Pharaoh <laughs> <laughs> in order to go and worship their God of Mount Sinai, <laughs> they would have still been there till now. Yes. yes. If you're a child of God, know what the, the, the word of God says. Know what your maker is asking of you, yeah. all right? Mm. And then, courageously exercise the choice that he expects you to. Mm. Don't forget, he has given you the choice, yes. the freedom of choice. Mm. He has given you the willpower, right? Mm. Yeah. The God will not come down and do for you what you can do yourself. Mm. Just have the faith and the trust in him, exercise the choice, and then let him handle the consequences. Mm. Okay. Let him handle the consequences. So, beloved, 
The word of God says, choose life. Mm. Because at the end of the day, that is what matters. Life versus death. Blessing versus curse. Let me give you a new definition of suicide. Mm -hmm. Suicide does not only matter, I mean, does not only um, rely in you taking your physical life. Mm -hmm. That is only the first step. Mm -hmm. The actual suicide, based on what you have studied, is when you, your actions eventually lead you or cause you to lose eternal life. Yes. Why? Because you are exercising the choice to die. To die. That Perfect. is suicide. Yes. No one is killing you. <laughs> and at the end of the day, we are going to be lost because we have decided to kill ourselves. It's my prayer that you will not kill yourself. You will not commit suicide in this context, but you will choose life. So that not only you, but as the Bible says, God said, you and your descendants will have life. Mm. God bless us as we pray with Pastor John Tete. Shall we pray? Divine Father, we thank you so much for your love for mankind. Lord, you give us two choices, life or death. If you advise us to choose life too, Lord, we are giving our hearts unto you. Let the Holy Spirit always guide our thoughts and let us choose life through Jesus Christ whom came to die for us. Yes. Father in heaven, will you continue to abide in our hearts and let us continually choose life in our day to day, in every moment that we live, so that our life will be acceptable in that sight. So the life that you promise us is going to be our portion, for we ask through the name of our Lord and Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Join us next week as we study lesson nine, Turn their hearts. The Lord bless you. Bye-bye.